Neighbors, I don't know where you're watching from, but in Korea, that winter breeze is mixing with the fall breeze, so it's getting very chilly, and you can feel the little uh, hair on the back of your neck. We're gonna work with hair tail fish. Yes, it's also known as cutlass fish in Korean, simply known as kalchi, and chori means braised. So this is braised cutlass fish. It's absolutely delicious. You have some hot rice on the side, and you don't need any panchans. Be careful, this one does have a lot of bones, so if you're not good with the chopsticks, I mean, you might have to stick with the salmon steak. Yes, I got some kalchi from Jeju Island. Now they have some king size ones which sell at a very high price. This is the normal size one. Now whenever we do any fish recipes, I want to show you the fish in its actual habitat. Like for a lot of people, the time that they see fish live is when like a fisherman is pulling it up out of the water and then it just looks all crazy. But when you see little fishes in the water, they're all finesse. It's just like pure like beauty. And in the future, if you ever visit Korea and you decide to go to Jeju Island, a specialty is this grilled kalchi. It's huge and it's caught by fishing poles because if you grab them by the net, it rips off the silver color on the outside, which reduces their value. And look at the owner. He's going to take out all of the bones from the top. But this one gets a little bit pricey, anywhere from $80 to $150, depending on the size. But the meat is so good. And now you see that beautiful silver color on this fish. It looks beautiful. We're going to do a few things to prep this before we cook with it. First thing we want to do, we want to chop this part off. Same with here. We can chop off the fins. Now I like to get rid of the inners. Some people like to push it out with chopsticks so that the shape stays intact. Or you can simply cut it open and pull it out. You'll just open this up. And all the guts that's in the middle, you can remove it. Now this fish does have some pirine, which just means some fishy smell. And a lot of that is in this silver skin. But a lot of restaurants, they don't take this off just because that silver color makes the dish look pretty. But uh, it's up to you. This part is up to you. And you don't have to get every little piece off. You get 80%. Good. Now let's give it a quick rinse. Then absolutely, you're going to want to spread this braised fish over some freshly made rice. So let's use the starch water to get rid of some of this uh, pirine from the fish as well. Give this a little rinse, throw out the first water. All right guys, and then the second rinse, mix it around with your hands. That starchy rice water is gonna grab that pirine, that fishy smell out of the fish skin. Just cover it. And we'll just let it sit for around 15, 20 minutes. Instead of rice water, you can also mix an equal ratio of water and vinegar or equal ratio of water and soju. So neighbors, besides the kalchi, one of the most important ingredients is Korean radish, mu. Korean radish is filled with sweet liquid, and when you cook it or braise it, it just adds another layer of flavor to any type of broth, and you just love it. My friends, look at that baby pinky. We're gonna cut into that with, don't cut your finger, like that. Let's get around five rounds, and you can see all the juices already glistening down this thing. We're gonna chop them in half one more time, then we're gonna chop a potato. Potato is always good braised. Give them a little width. We're gonna do one potato, then one forearm piece of spring onion, then half an onion. Then we're gonna finish off with one green chili pepper. This is gonna add just a little bit of kick on top of our spicy marinade. Don't add more than one. Now this marinade, I think is spot on, better than most restaurants. One tablespoon of gochujang, put that in. Then two tablespoons of gochukaru. Look at that beautiful color. Then some old fashioned sugar. All right, we need one tablespoon. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. Then we're gonna put in some minced garlic, about one tablespoon's worth. Then we're gonna add in one tablespoon of soup soy sauce. This one's a little bit saltier than the normal one. But Daniel, I don't have this. It's all right, just use regular soy sauce, another tablespoon's worth. Then two tablespoons of mirin, and then a little teaspoon of tenjang. This tenjang is gonna help remove any fishy smell again. Now don't add more than one teaspoon, that small tea, or else it's gonna overpower all the taste. Very good. Let's give this a little taste. I could taste the finished broth already from the sauce itself. Beautiful combination. Thank me later. I recommend making anchovy kelp broth. I'm gonna just drop in an anchovy kelp broth bag. Then next, my friends, let's grab a large wok or a frying pan, something with a good amount of surface area. Start with the Korean radish on the bottom so that they can release their broth and that heat. Then the potato. Move our fish from that rice water and place it on top. All right. Now, I don't want you to use up the whole thing, maybe around two thirds. Go ahead and put it over our fish. All right, it's beautiful. Then let's add our onions. And then a handful of our spring onions, save some for the end, so we can have some color. Chili peppers, save a little. 
for the garnish at the end. Then I got two cups of my anchovy kelp broth. Let's start with one cup and just place it around. Again, you can use water or you can use rice water that we made earlier to soak the fish. That also serves as broth. It's a perfect amount. Then all that's left to do. All right, and we're gonna let this come up to a boil. Mix in some of that sauce. All right. We'll reduce this to about a medium. All right, let's give it some time for all the flavors to come together. All right, 15 minutes in, take a look. It's reduced by around a half. Give your pot or wok just a little back and forth like this so nothing is sticking to the bottom. It shouldn't, but just in case. I want you to give a little sip of the broth. And, and watch this go from good to great. Add a little bit more over our Just grab some of the liquid and pour it over. Kind of like if you're basting a steak. Just makes the just makes the fish even more flavorful. All right, and neighbors, now take a look. I think we are done. You see how thick the bubbles got? Pick out the radish, one of the pieces of the radish, and it should go in very easily. <laughs> We're done. Oh man. And then I wanna show you the best part of this. Open this up. I'm gonna show you how to debone later, but that top part is my favorite. Well, actually the side pieces too, but yes. That's it, my friends. Take a look at that radish. Put it down the middle, and you eat this with rice. Amazing. This is the best part. It just melts in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. All right, guys, I got some fresh brown rice here. Let's get one of our kalchi pieces straight on. Oh, man. Then, of course, our braised radish. A few pieces in the back. Carefully open this up. And I love this middle section right here. Wow, beautiful. All right, and that is like the perfect bite. When I was young, when my mom bought this kalchi, it's like a special day. Uh, yeah, and I love kalchi. It's actually my favorite fish. Really? Yeah. You know, their meat is so soft. Yeah. It's a shame that they're so little, but maybe that's why it tastes good, because yeah. you don't get so much. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's the cumbersome part about this fish, but... And I think you cook the radish perfectly. Look at this. Break it? How, like, flappy it is. Wow, it's perfect, right? Mm -hmm. This was my mom's favorite part, the radish. And right. the next thing, you know, we are gonna smell this kalchi coming from downstairs. <laughs> yeah, they always copy. Our neighbors from uh, two floors down, or maybe one floor down. Every time we cook something, it's like a competition. The next day, the smoke arises from their building, and it's always the same dish. Kalchi Wars has started. <laughs> Alright, and before we go, Katie's gonna break down how to like get the meat out of this fish. It does have a lot of small bones. And then, yogi도 해야 된대. Oh, 거기도 해봐. And then, vice versa, you wanna slice through the other side. Look! <laughs> Look! <laughs> oh my gosh, professional. <laughs> this is Eureka! Eureka! Good, that's all good meat. Wow, level Yummy. clear. Flip it over. Mm. Look, look. Yes. That's how we know she was raised in Busan, y'all. Yeah, you can actually split this in half like that. Come on. There's I guess all you this can good try. Meat. Yeah, there's all this good meat. But it's very cumbersome. There's all this good meat here. No, you give this. <laughs> 